Uh, hello, Dan here. I'm doing a uh, little uh, 12 volt off grid solar array with uh, Make Sky Blue MPPT solar charge controller. Uh, it's three year update. Um, everything is running perfect like the day I installed it. Uh, I'll be going through the, the basics of my system. Um, and uh, keep in mind, I've got about $4,000 invested, uh, which is, you know, pretty, pretty cheap for a self-sufficient place, eight kilowatt hour uh, deep cycle battery bank. I um, uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, up above me, up, uh, up there, uh, you see my windmills going at it. I'm uh, in one of my uh, solar panel arrays. I'm also going to be showing you, somebody asked me in one of my threads, do the Make Sky Blue have a limiter? You know, I'm running a 12 volt battery bank 48 volts coming in and therefore I can only I'm only supposed to be able to run 720 watts and panels on it safely and somebody said does it have a limiter I said no because it hits 800 on a regular basis you know uh, with my solar tracker is set perfect uh, into the sun um, and I'm going to show you I actually think it does uh, have a limiter because the light starts to flicker by limiter uh, I mean will it actually keep itself from blowing up if I if you overfeed it if you give it too many amps too many watts will the unit save itself and my answer to everybody has been no don't you know if it says only 720 watts in panels on a 12 volt battery bank abide by that I mean if it says if it's a 20 amp unit don't put more than 20 amps uh, to it mine is, is running a lot less now uh, two 48 volt lines coming in i'm only running at like 10 amps at 48 volts but it's into a 12 volt battery bank so i'm running i'm actually forcing the unit to go to 48 50 uh, amps so it's really close to a 60 amp limit um but it's not over but it does have 800 watts in panels which is more than they recommend they say it'll shut down at 720. Uh, so look what happens when it gets near 700. my make sky blue oh it just stopped Finding its limit range. Oh, I missed it. Every time it goes over 700, I have 800 watts and solar panels on it. The light starts to flicker. I think it's switching back and forth between bulk and float because my batteries are really full. Even though I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm. I was drawing a thousand watts. Uh, uh, my coffee maker, there it goes, one thousand one hundred and two watts. And then the May Sky Blue kicks up, and then the light will start flickering when it gets above seven hundred. See that? Can you see the light flickering? It, it's it's uh, monitoring itself so it doesn't overproduce. It's supposed to not do more than seven hundred and twenty. Uh, because I'm running a 12 volt volt battery bank. Interesting. This is a little view of my uh, one half of the Make Sky Blue solar array. Uh, you can tell it's a partly cloudy day, but when the sun comes out, it's really good sun. Um, anyway, there's four 100 watt panels there. And there's the other six. Four of them are in conjunction with with those on the Make Sky Blue. And the other two on the top are the ones hooked up to the POW MR. Uh, so it's a total of 10 100 watt panels are doing all the collecting on those two uh, solar charge controllers. Uh, in the house, you'll notice I have a third, uh, but it's just in my garden here. Uh, it's just running a couple panels on the ground that I use for charging my motorcycle batteries and stuff like that. Hey, Dan here uh, with a little three-year update on my uh, homemade off-grid uh, solar power array. Um, this is a PAL MR. Uh, it's three years old now. Um, the fan started whining uh, a couple years back, so I disconnected most of the panels. It's only running two panels. Uh, the Make Sky Blue, the Make Sky Blue, is running eight 100 watt panels. Um, the uh, Palomar is running a 24 volt into a 12 volt battery. The Make Sky Blue is running 48 volt into a 12 volt battery. Now, just to save wire uh, thickness, uh, the Make Sky Blue comes into this quick acting fuse box here, 
Um, and then I have a couple panels on the ground through this little PWM, pulse width uh, modulation unit. I use it to charge batteries and, uh, you know, uh, stuff like that. Very simple system, eight kilowatt hour battery bank using um, um, absorbed glass mat, uh, UB121000, uh, the oldest one in the bunch is up uh, three years old now. Well, no, I actually had different batteries, about two years old now. Uh, they perform perfectly, of course. And uh, so let me show you how the system performs three years in. It's uh, pretty phenomenal. For $100 for the Make Sky Blue, I paid like 170 for this. Um, it's a fake Make Sky Blue. Oh, above that is a, a home car uh, stereo system. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it runs on DC. Anyhow, so uh, the light you see up there, the LED that's, that's, that's lighting this place is also running off this, makes sky blue here, little 5 amp uh, output. But I have uh, coming out of my, let me switch the view. So there's my inverter. It's a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter, uh, 3000 watt peak. Uh, what you see is this is an AC plug going to the kitchen uh, that I run uh, the light that you see coming from my right hand side there. This is an old power strip cable with decent uh, gauge lines on it that runs down behind the couch there into that fuse box that, that, uh, that you see there. And uh, see, I, I spliced some 8 gauge uh, household wire into it because um, here it's AC. It doesn't have to be braided wire anymore. Uh, it's AC current and it runs into this box um, and then into breakers. So, the, you know, it's, it's one of the breakers is for the uh, power coming from the, uh, the uh, Make Sky Blue to the battery bank and then those other two uh, run out to different outlets throughout the house that I just added to the walls. You can tell what they are because they're blue and they stand out from the wall. You know you're running on solar. Um, you know, when you have to make sure you don't kill your batteries. Uh, even though inverters have an automatic shutoff. They, they will... They, it has never taken my batteries below 12 volt after everything settles uh, with decent loads on them. If you're running really small loads, it can actually get lower, but I run big loads. Anyhow, uh, breaker boxes, if you're going off-grid, uh, you know, it's very important to exercise standard electri electrician uh, code. Uh, make sure everything's breakered and fused and, you know, between every component you have to have fuses and breakers. I forgot to mention uh, that unit there. That's a, a rectifier. I'm running my windmill at 12 volt. Um, I don't even use an MPPT on it because I have no wind here. I mean, it rarely goes over 200 watts. It never even gets warm. Um, and I have it just dog ear clipped to these motorcycle batteries here. I use these for camping and, you know, just doing demos and stuff like that. Um, those are, are two little 9 amp hour batteries running in parallel. But anyway, a uh, little windmill uh, does put out some power. I was out working in the garden. It is uh, March the 15th. This is Make Sky Blue. I haven't tilted it yet for springtime. It's still in winter uh, axis. It has 800 watts and panels on it. Eight 100 watt panels. And uh, it's just sitting there at 95%. <laughs> Uh, you know, constant, and people will ask, you know, how well do these Chinese um, MPPT solar charge controllers work? And, and you're looking at it. If I tilted it right into the sun, I guarantee you it'd be 100%. It'd be at 800, 810, uh, pulling maximum solar uh, panel power. Uh, this has only two 100 watt panels on it. But I don't think it's accurate. I pulled a meter on it and it actually floats it the same as uh, the Make Sky Blue, which is just much more accurate. Um, this is a, basically a Make Sky Blue version like 113. This is a Make Sky Blue version 117, 117, yeah. 
Uh, they're both 60 amp, but uh, this is going on three years now. Uh, I paid $100 for this Make Sky Blue. And this one is three years old. The fan is burned out. That's why I don't have a lot of panels. Well, it's not burned out, but it like whines. You know, it goes, eh, it's ready to burn out. So I decreased the panels on it and I still use it uh, in conjunction. But what a dynamite product. As I've been sitting here talking, you, this is this is it. I pulled a lot of power last night and uh, it's charging the batteries at you know, near 100% maximum solar input with eight 100 watt panels on it. A dynamite product. Well, that was my little uh, three year update on the, oops, my garden alarm went off. I got a little garden alarm, I don't know if you can see it up there. That runs on solar also, I had to fight the deer off. But anyhow, if you uh, enjoyed this at all or I gave you any ideas, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, it, that helps and I, I, people are starting to pay attention to climate change and you know free energy uh, it's a beautiful thing please like and subscribe thank you